It is the ultimate goal in high school sports, a state championship. Not one, not two, but three girls soccer teams from our area have made it to the final four. And with the win tonight, they'll play for a state title on Saturday. We start with the Northview Lady Wildcats playing Strongsville in Sandusky. Strongsville, the seventh ranked team in the country, according to ESPN.com. Scoreless with five minutes left in the first. Laura Connor takes a deep shot, but blocked, saved by Strongsville. After Northview handball near the goal, Megan Wiskowski nails the penalty kick for the Mustangs, makes it 2-0, 33 minutes left in the game. 10 minutes left now. Lady Cats trying to cut into that lead. Courtney Hendricks gets the, uh, the, the yeah. Another stop. Northview couldn't get anything going tonight, and their season comes to an end, losing the state semis 3-0. The great thing is, I mean, right down to the last click, our girls fought right to the bitter end. So you know what, I mean, it's been a great run for us. Four years gone by senior year, ending like that. I mean, I'm glad we made it this far. We made history for our school, and we worked our butt off out there, and it just didn't come our way. Division II, St. Ursula and Cuyahoga Walsh Jesuit playing in Tiffin. Walsh, the second-ranked team in the nation, according to the same website. Game goes all the way to sudden victory and penalty kicks. Kylie Armstrong gets the call for the arrows, and she nails it. It all comes down to this shot for Walsh, and it's the game. Clears the crossbar. Ursula wins 1-0 in their second round of penalty kicks. They'll play for a state title Saturday in Columbus. I can't even believe it. I cannot even believe that it's real right now. <laughs> it does not even feel like it. I was actually very nervous. I didn't even know if I was going to take a shot personally. I knew my teammates could do it. And then I just knew I had to take a shot to help my teammates out. I mean, that's a fantastic team. And I'll tell you what, uh, we're fortunate to win it. But I've been saying all along, we may lose more than half the games, but we only need to win once, and today was our day. Congratulations. All right, Division Three now, Archbold and Shaker Heights, Laurel playing at Clyde. First half, Archbold played against the win, advantage Laurel. That's a goal for them. That's not good for the streaks. Second half, Archbold played with the win. They did get the advantage. The Blue Streaks, a ton of chances. But they just couldn't cash in, and Archbold falls. Best season in school history comes to an end, losing one to nothing. 